Greetings. My partner and I stand affirming this year's resolution about legal immigration and offer the following plan. The United States federal government should substantially reduce its restrictions on legal immigration to the United States by adopting an open border policy for immigration. Contention one is inherency. Trump is increasing restrictions to immigration now. Choi Chet 6-3. A caravan crossing the U.S.-Mexico border sparked a push to stop groups from getting in. The administration used the caravan to push to overhaul immigration laws. Other migrants trying to make it to the U.S. will likely face more obstacles. Contention two is solvency. Open borders increase immigration flows without risking harm to U.S. citizens. Dalmia 12. Open borders mean the government could reject those who failed a background check or were afflicted with some contagious disease. Barring that, entry would be allowed. Markets and prices would regulate immigration flows. Contention three is the economy advantage. One, the U.S. economy is growing, but immigration restrictions put that at risk. Spicer 615. Immigration policy could evolve in a way that leads to less immigration and therefore less productive capacity for the economy. Two, letting in immigrants increases the labor force, thus boosting the economy. Thompson 227. The economy's growth comes from productivity and labor force growth. As rich countries get older, their productivity growth rates decline. So what's the trick to raising GDP if productivity levels are subdued? More workers. If the country let in more immigrants, GDP growth would accelerate. Three, ec American economic growth powered the global economy, and any decline would be felt worldwide. Rose 17. The U.S. has the world's largest economy, accounting for almost a quarter of global GDP. The four recessions the global economy experienced since 1960 overlapped with severe recessions in the U.S. Shocks to the U.S. economy transmit to the rest of the world. Four, economic growth is necessary to prevent armed conflicts. Court right 16, economic growth rates are correlated with peace. Poverty bears a strong relationship to civil conflict. The key root cause of conflict is the failure of economic development. Raising economic growth rates may be the single most important step to reduce armed conflict. I now stand ready for cross-examination. What are the restrictions on immigration? Uh, post plan or the status quo? Uh, stat uh, post plan. Sorry. Uh, only a basic background and disease check, barring that anyone would be allowed to enter. Okay. Are there any controls on the level of education and skill set of someone who comes in in an open border system? No. Okay. Um, the plan presumes that there will be increased immigration once it's implemented, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, does the Thompson card stipulate anything about the skill level that leads to an increase in GDP or oil production? No, just a general increase in the labor force. Okay. Um, what is the like current problem with the economy that is necessitating an increased uh, immigration plan? As rich countries get older, their productivity growth rates decline, and the only other thing that can boost GDP other than productivity is an increased workforce. And the best way to increase the workforce is to increase immigration. What is causing a productivity decline? Uh, it's just a natural tendency of rich countries. That's what our evidence indicates. Okay, sure.